hi everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel now i'm starting my i'm starting this vlog from a very different location i'm at the train station i'm heading down to london i'm just waiting for my train because my first train i'm just waiting for my train but my first train got cancelled so i've now i rebooked a new train because that was a whole kerfuffle literally i'd set off and then i realized that i'd left my phone at home went and got my phone and then i was like okay you know let me just quickly check if the train is um on its way like if it's going to be delayed because i was in a bit of a rush anyway i checked the train and it was cancelled i was like okay anyway um i'm just waiting for my next train which is a couple of minutes late so hopefully that shouldn't cause any issues with my connecting train but um yeah i'm heading to london i um it's about half three in the afternoon so i've been shooting some stuff oh my gosh guys i've been doing my taxes <laughs> i've been doing my taxes and if you are self-employed then you know like <sighs> yeah <laughs> so yeah i've been doing my taxes i was doing them all day yesterday half of today and then i was shooting some content and then i just realized that the content that i was shooting i can't actually upload onto my macbook which i've brought with me because i don't have the connector adapter thing so i might have to buy one of them whilst i'm in london as well annoyingly i might just buy an apple one because i i buy them from amazon and honestly they're just a pain so i'm thinking do i i'm just gonna bite the bullet and just buy the one from apple and just be done with that really random story but as you can tell i'm wearing my airpods i always have to wear my airpods wherever i go um i'll quickly oh my gosh my train is even more delayed what's going on uh oh it's here actually it's not delayed but i'll tell you guys my funny airpod story when i see you probably when i'm in london okay so i've arrived in london and i've just checked into my room so you'll be surprised to know that i'm not staying at a z hotel tonight because i actually managed to get myself a really good deal um at a different hotel and it's called something eight <laughs> i can't remember what it's called but it's got quite a long name um but yeah, i managed to get a booking for i managed to find this hotel on book on booking.com for like pretty much the same price as Z Hotel because they had 30% off. Um, I've just spoke to the concierge guy who brought my luggage up, which you certainly don't get that at Z Hotel, but I'm not complaining. Um, I can get used to this actually, being treated <laughs> so nicely. Um, but the c concierge guy um, said that they are a new hotel, so they so that's why they had the 30 percent off um because they're like trialing things out and i tell you what i might have to this might this might have to become a thing for me um hopefully i'm in focus this might have to become a thing for me because i could get i could get very used to staying in hotels like this in london it's a real treat i, I treated myself okay i treated myself because i deserved it and i had the sound off but let me show you the room let me show you the room so yeah if you are coming to london i highly so far so good i'll let you know how we get on <laughs> but if you are coming to london try out this hotel because it's pretty new and they've got discounts on at the moment you know to attract people in let me show you around it's a small room but it's literally double the size of the z hotels that i normally stay at. and i'm not putting z hotel down because i will still stay in z hotels but this is different as you walk in this is what it looks like so over here you have the bathroom this is me got a nice big shower in there really nice big shower I'm kind of sad that i'm only staying here for one night as you come out of the bathroom you've got this kind of like storage section here and then I think I'm going to put my suitcase down there. As you keep turning, there's this like really cool wardrobe storage area. And I don't think this hotel has a spa. I'm going to double check. I don't think it does because I don't remember seeing any pictures of spas. But um, I certainly will be getting into this uh, dressing gown once I get my shower. So yeah, how nice is that? I really, really like the kind of... I don't even didn't I don't even know what to call this, but 
I really like it. I love this texture and shimmeriness going on here. Then you come over to the bar area. I was brave today. I decided to bring my Chanel Trendy with me. So, yeah. This is a little bar area. Apparently everything in the bar is included. Let's see what's in there. We've got Coke. We've got... Oh, I thought it was going to be tonic water then. If you guys uh, know know me then you'll know that i am obsessed with tonic water and i was hoping that was but it's lemonade and lemonade is good got some water in there no chocolate or anything like that then we've got some coffee oh and some cakes which i will definitely have to try them out then we've got a little bar area and then we've got a little bar area over here my suitcase tv oh my gosh Okay, I love this. I love this. This is like a little beauty mirror area where I can get ready. And I also love the fact that it's right next to the window because honestly, I hate it when you go to hotels. Well, it's not a big thing, but I prefer it when hotels have um, mirrors next to the window because I love to use natural light. Anyway, stepping back a little bit. This is the bed. Nice, comfortable bed. Beautiful shade of blue. And then we've got a little sofa on this side as well. How lovely is this room? Oh, and also we have a full-size mirror. Yes, we have a full-size mirror and I'm all about that. Today's outfit, I kind of just like threw together. Let me sit down and tell you guys about the events I've got going on whilst I am here. The lighting is absolutely awful and I hope this camera manages to actually keep me in focus. But when I last spoke to you guys, I was... I'm just going to quickly say, hey guys, this very irrelevant story that you don't care about, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Um, I bought some AirPods. I've, I've got AirPods, and if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I lost a pair ages ago. I just constantly have drama when it comes to my AirPods. These are like my second pair of AirPods because my first pair, I lost one ear. So I had to buy a new, I had to buy a replacement. And then once I bought the replacement a few months later, I then lost the case. It's not, it's been a whole drama. Anyway, it's been about a year since I've had this set and it's been nothing but drama. Um, anyway, the other day I accidentally put one AirPod in the washing machine and tell me why when I took the AirPod out of the washing machine, I can hear out of it, I can hear out of it better than I've ever heard before. <laughs> Like, I literally, at one point, I thought there was something wrong with my ear, with my hearing. I was like, why can't I hear out of one AirPod? Anyway, that was the AirPod that went in the wash. Did a full cycle and it came out better than ever. So, I mean, I don't advocate for you to put your AirPods in the washing machine, but I literally thought that my, I literally thought that my AirPod had died. Like, I was like, well, it's useless now, isn't it? But it came out better than ever. <laughs> So anyway, boring story, but what I do need to tell you about is the events I've got going on tomorrow. So I have three kind of events and things going on. So, I am, um, okay, I feel like I need to put this more comfortable. I should have brought my tripod with me. So I've got my first appointment tomorrow with Bobby Brown. So they're doing, so they've invited me to their bridal breakfast tomorrow morning. And this is kind of like, no, this is like my second bridal event. Because the first one was the Nadine Morabi event. I guess they'll be showing like some of uh, their products and all that kind of thing. And maybe like do a tutorial on someone. <laughs> um you know someone's makeup so that's going to be between 10 and 11 a.m i'm so excited about that i'm a huge fan of bobby brown products um i really like their lip products specifically i really really like their lip products and obviously their face base i use it as a night cream i've actually brought a little travel version with me today so that's my first event and then my second thing that i will be doing is a press day with strathbury so if you've never I mean, I've talked about Strathbury on my channel, and if you're into handbags, I'm sure you would have heard of the brand. I'm sure you would have heard of the brand. So Strathbury is, I look, ugh, I look awful. I really do look awful. Let me just hold you from this. This lighting is really not good for me. Okay, I'm going to put you from this. No, I'm going to kind of hold you from here because I look really bad there. Um, but yeah, Strathbury is, Strathbury is a Scottish handbag brand, and um, I have like four of their handbags now i love their bags absolutely love their bags especially their cream one i talk about it anytime i get the opportunity to talk about handbags i talk about them they have their press day tomorrow and they have invited me down um for that 
Um, so I'm going to go look at their new collection uh, in their Kings Road style, which I think is near Harrods and Sloan Street. So I might, you know, be looking around like some of the bougie stores whilst I'm there. And, uh, you know, a girl can browse. <laughs> so that's my second appointment. And speaking of luxury things, um, if you're into luxury things and if you're not, then just like tune up for a quick second. I'm renewing my Hermes wish at the... Selfridges star in London because um, a few months ago I went in there and spoke to a really nice guy and he was like you know what maybe yeah you know if you don't get offered a bag by the time your wish ends which I found out was on the 25th of March come to our store and I'll see what I can do I was like okay and um, well he just said you can renew your wish at our store and uh, he was like, we fulfill wishes all the time. The final thing that I have is at Harrods. So I have um, a facial at Elemis, which they very kindly contacted me like three weeks ago. And they were like, would you like to try one of our facials? And I was like, I have literally never, ever, ever done a facial. Um, like ever in my whole life because I don't know I look at women who do that and I just think I don't know if I'm deserving of that <laughs> I know it sounds really weird to say but it's just like I I don't know it just seems very bougie and I know I can be bougie too but I'm not that bougie where like I go and get facials all the time that seems like what grown women do and I just I've never seen myself as that like I'm still like 17. <laughs> I'm gonna go get my first ever facial. I don't know how things, I don't know how these things work. Um, actually, I had a mini facial at an event and it was like a literally like 10 minute thing. So I wouldn't really class it as a facial facial. But yeah, I'm gonna have an event. I'm gonna have a facial at Harrods um, at the Elemis concession area. And I'm so excited about that. Like, I'm so excited for that. <laughs> I've never done that before. This is something new for me. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to try these things that grown women who tr like look after themselves do, like maintenance, you know, like I, like, I always watch these videos on TikTok of women like, this is my monthly maintenance routine. Like for me, I get my nails done. That's the only thing that I get my nails, that's the only thing that I do regularly is get my nails done because, and I only started doing it once I started working full time, which was around 24, 25? No, no, 24. Like when I finished uni quite late, or did I get, or did I get my nails done at uni? I would occasionally get my nails done at uni, but I started to get my nails regularly done once I started working full time, which was in like my early mid, early mid 20s and um that is like the most the only thing i do i watch these girls on tiktok who are like i get a wax i get um my hair done i get my my weave taken up i get my weave put in i get braids done every month i get my eyelashes done i'm like <laughs> so yeah in terms of like my maintenance and looking after myself i'm not really somebody who gets things done um i get my nails done every month just because i feel like i've feel put together when I have my nails done it makes me feel really really good inside and they're only like 30 30 pounds 40 pounds a month so it's not so it's not really a lot of money um and every six months I get Botox in my job because um I get uh, face spasms and extreme jaw pain and the Botox is solely for stopping the crazy things that my muscles do um <laughs> so i get that done every six months which cost a lot of money but it's certainly worth it because it means i'm paying free for a few months a year um but in terms of like like you know maintenance routine or anything like that like maintenance stuff i don't do anything do you guys do anything like what is your maintenance what do you do every month to keep yourself feeling good looking good like even waxes i don't bother with them like I either I either self wax like I have a wax kit from Amazon, or I just shave because I'm like, why am I paying for that? It's nearly seven p.m. I actually wanted to I, I actually wanted to have a little walk round because it's still light outside. I want to have a little walk round, um, try try and get some steps in, maybe ten thousand steps in. I had a really really big lunch, like really really big lunch. I went all out for lunch. And I'm not going to be hungry enough for dinner. And it's already 7pm. And I don't want to have a late dinner. So I might just get like a little dessert for dinner. And not, not bother with the whole meal. 
like I'm just not hungry enough. So yeah, I think I'm gonna have a walk around. Hopefully that might help with my digestion as well. I don't know, I might be hungry by then, so I'll grab some dinner, but if I'm not hungry, I'll just grab something sweet to finish off. Come back, I'm gonna catch up on YouTube because this week, oh my God, I feel like I can talk to you guys forever. Okay, I'll just stop. This weekend, my sister came up. She was up from Thursday to Sunday. Then yesterday was a write-off because it was tax day and God, that, that knocked me out, okay? Knocked me out yesterday and knocked me out this morning. Um, so I haven't been catching up on YouTube. I've hardly been replying to people. I have not even been posting on Instagram. I've not been doing nothing. So this evening, I'm here on my own, in my own room here. I'm just gonna binge watch a bunch of YouTube, catch up on everyone's vlogs. I am gonna go out and I might vlog whilst I'm out, but I'm not too sure if I'm gonna do that. So I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. When our eyes met, I never knew that I could feel this way, and it's kind of strange. Don't even know your name. I've just finished off at the Bobby Brown event. Um, I've now come to Knightsbridge because this is where my next events are at. Um, but I've got a bit of time to, uh, you know, to waste. Um, so I'm gonna head into Harrods and have a look in there for a bit. And I might even look in Zara behind me. This is Zara. My skin is so oily. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go into Harrods or Zara. I'm probably just gonna go into Harrods because I've already been in Zara. Um, but yeah, the Bobby Brown event was really, really good. I'll tell you guys more about that in a bit. What it's like from the other side. Would you stay another night? Well, I was just in the Hermes store. Sorry for my appearance. I look so oily, so sweaty. Um, so yeah, I apologise for that. But I was just in the Hermes store and they offered... <laughs> they, act <laughs> they actually offered me a bag. Yes, you heard that right? Um, so they offered me, it wasn't a Birkin or a Kelly or anything like that. They offered me a, a Pickerton. I'm hoping that you stick around. Show me what it's like from the other side. Would you stay another night? guys um but i have just had some tea and uh, cake at elan cafe they're all over london they're all over london i've never seen them anywhere but london but yeah had a cheesecake and a tea there because i needed a, just a little bit of caffeine but not too much like a coffee or anything like that anyway i'm now uh, at harrods and i'm about to go with my facial i don't know you but i want to get to know spoke to you guys for a few days um so yeah i've been back home for quite maybe a week just under a week actually it's monday today so i thought i would kind of finish off this vlog i have loads of things to unbox and kind of go through the london trip and see i was in london for two days the hotel that i stayed at if you follow if you follow me on instagram then you'll know i was raving about that hotel but the hotel that i stayed at was so so good and i managed to get it at like 30 percent off because they're a new hotel apparently so they're trying to attract customers so i it wasn't far off what i pay for a z hotel um with 30 percent off so i was like Do you know what treat myself um, at least I get like a private bathroom, <laughs> so just like a whole one studio thing. 
it was so good. My first event whilst I was in London was with Bobby Brown. They invited brides to be who were content creators, which included me. And I was honestly so, <laughs> I was like, me, really, me? <laughs> they invited content creators, influencers, they invited journalists, and there's a bunch of different people who included, which, inc which included content creators like myself. Um, it's always funny, I go to these events and I see people and um, some of them I know, some of them I don't know. For the first, like, I actually didn't know anybody at the event. I knew one person, like I'd heard of one person, but I really didn't know anybody. And um, it's very rare that I go to events where I don't meet anybody, but it's always a good opportunity to get to know new people, um, get social and get myself out there. <laughs> I got a little goodie bag. Now, this goodie bag is completely trashed. Like, it is trash because I had to shove it in my suitcase on the way back to London, uh, on the way back from London. So this is the little makeup bag which we got. Bobby Brown times Jenny Packham wedding collection. So this is a bridal cut. So this is a new collection that they've brought out with Jenny Packham. I'm a huge fan of Bobby Brown. I love their highlighter and their lip stuff. This is that's what I really love. I would love to try one of their foundations, but um, I have quite a few, and I've just bought that one from Nars. Quick side note from anybody who's interested in hearing my opinion, actually, on the Nars foundation. So um, I've got this whilst I was at Bista Village. Things that I love about it. I'll be very very quick. Um, it's very lightweight, highly pigmented. You do not need a lot to get. Uh, super high coverage. I was concerned that the coverage was not going to be high just because it's called a natural radiant coverage. The coverage is really, really good. You do not need, you don't need a lot, um, and it just feels so lightweight. It doesn't feel like you're wearing makeup. Uh, it does have a really beautiful finish. However, I, I have already skin, and I feel like it just doesn't last very well. And very weirdly, because I was thinking, okay, I'm gonna. So I'm going to wear my Estee Lauder again just to see whether this is just a NARS thing or is it just my skin. I find that this NARS foundation really sits within my pores. Like I've been to, I've worn this when I have been busy all day, not had a chance to like top up my makeup or do anything. And um, I just put it on and I've noticed, especially when I was, especially when I was in London where I was up and down um, in different parts of central London, the foundation really sunk into my pores and it made my pores look like craters, okay? Like huge, massive dots all over my face. It was a bit gross. And especially because I have oily skin, I just, it was like oily and cratery. <laughs> so that's one thing that I've noticed about this foundation. I've used my Estee Lauder Double Wear today just to see whether that I get the same effect with this. Um, and no, this foundation is definitely more long wearing on me and it's initially more matte as well, so which is a good thing for me um, because I have extremely oily skin and it doesn't sink into my pores, it just looks a little bit more flawless um, throughout the day. Like even when I blotted this foundation, like I, you know, when you get really oily, you use a little bit of blotting paper. I still felt like I saw my pores, like I, I, I saw my pores in a different light <laughs> like I just, they were very visible I'm not going to talk about that for any longer i just wanted to give you guys a little quick rundown okay first thing which i have got from bobby brown is the blush nude eyeshadow palette i love the packaging it's got like two rings where is that two rings is here how cute is that and this is what it looks like on the inside kind of like soft matte some shimmery shades in there i believe and just like taupey colours. At the event, they did the makeup on um, a model. She was so beautiful, um, but she was white. So I was like, how is this going to look like on me? But then when I saw this, um, their kind of, what's it called? Like their um, collection brief? It was on a darker skinned woman. So yeah, I truly do believe that this collection will look beautiful on every type of woman, whether you have light complexion or you have dark complexion like me, then this foundation, then this collection will look good on you because I love her eye makeup. That is the kind of eye makeup I'm after. I'm currently trying to find a makeup artist who will give me that soft glam look. I think I want like a matte eyeshadow look and um, I'm trying to find one. <laughs> I'm also thinking 
I might just do my own makeup. Like, I have stuff. I have so much makeup. I only have two bridesmaids. I'm happy to do my bridesmaids makeup and help them out. But then I'm also thinking, like, what if I do my own makeup and I absolutely hate it and, like, I don't love it and it just looks wrong. Um, what happens then? Like, what? what happens then <laughs> i'm just worried because obviously like we're spending money on photographers and everything and organizing and spending i want to look good in the pictures and what if i don't look good in the pictures so i'm worried about that so anyway this is the anyway this is the highlighting powder so it's pink uh, the pink glow powder pink one looks just like that Ooh, get my face out of it hopefully my camera oh look at that it is beautiful now I am concerned that this might not be the right shade for me but the only thing is I don't want to swatch it just in case I don't end up keeping it because I can give it to somebody who I know like people who I know um because this is the one that I usually use this is my one that I use on a daily basis I haven't been using highlighter recently because I've been breaking out um but yeah this is the one which I use regularly. It's like a bronzy colour. It's so beautiful. So I don't know if this one actually might work. It might actually work. For some reason, I thought this was going to be too light. But actually, from the camera, I don't think it looks too different. And obviously, I have oily skin, so I don't use highlighter that much. I also break out a lot on my cheeks. So again, I don't like to use highlighter when I have lumps and bumps on my cheeks. But... I'm gonna try this one out. Next product is the Lux Eyeshadow Rich Sparkle. There we go. My nails, like my cuticles are looking horrible, so I do apologize for that. Look at that. That's gorgeous packaging. Then we have the lip tint. There we go. Ah, okay, so I remember this, so it's like a clear lip balm, and however, it just, apparently, it just like changes, or it changes so that it works with your complexion. And then we have a crushed lip colour. Ooh, okay, it's beautiful. Wow, okay, I thought, when it said blondy pink, I thought it was going to be quite a light pink, but it's actually a very dark, nudie pink. beautiful oh my god that's stunning this has inspired me to um play around with makeup because if i do end up doing my makeup i have a long time to play around have a little bit of fun the next event which i went to was for strathbury you would have already seen all the video footage i was looking at their autumn winter collection however a lot of the autumn the autumn winter, the autumn winter collection had a lot of uh, had a lot of like olive colours and paints it was quite fresh so that collection is launched between um when is it launching between between may so next month and august i believe so it's quite a long stretch of time before we left they gave us a little goodie bag so i'll show you what's in there this is a little dust bag i always keep these because they're good for traveling and then we got we got a little key ring. Look at that. Look at that. How cute is that? So yeah, I will definitely be putting this on my key ring. I don't treat my key I don't treat my keys very well. Like I'm not very careful with them. Um I probably should be. So I almost don't want to attach it onto my keys, but to be honest, um I need to learn to just use things and not keep things for best. Like when is there gonna be a best time to use a keyring? I just I just, I just need to use it. Before I went to the Strathbury event, um I popped into the Hermes store on Sloan Street. So if you're into luxury fashion stuff, you're gonna be interested. If you're not then this might be a little bit boring, but I promise I'll keep this conversation to two minutes. Um, so I went into the Hermes store. If you don't know, Hermes does like the famous Birkin bags and the Kelly bags and all of the really beautiful bags. I'm a handbagger and I would love an Hermes bag in my collection. Um, now I have been on the Hermes wish list system um, for a while. I was shopping at the Manchester store. I did a wish there. It lasted a year. I wasn't offered a bag 
and every time I wanted to, every time I inquired about something, whether it be shoes or a leather good or a piece of jewellery, they never had it in stock. They never had it in stock. Um, I tried to renew it at Selfridges, but the guy who I was talking to on WhatsApp wasn't replying. So anyway, I was um, going to the Strathbury then, so I thought I would stop off at Sloan Street, which is near Harrods. Um, so I went in there, had a look around, and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to renew my wish there. I renewed my wish, and they actually offered me a bag. They offered me a bag, okay. But it wasn't a Birkin. So I'm after a Birkin, 20, a Birkin 25 or 30 in the gold tan colour. They call it gold, but it's a tan colour. I'm after that bag. And you might be thinking, why don't you just go buy one on the second-hand market? I would actually rather wait three years than go buy it on the second-hand market just because the prices on the second-hand market for the co for the combination that I'm after, ridiculous, okay? Absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, they offered me a bag. It was the Picatin 18. It was not gold, but it was like another tan colour with gold hard, but that bag was beautiful. Beautiful. And like I was thinking about it for like five minutes, he was rushing me because another customer had seen that I was trying that bag on and they were like, she doesn't get it, I want it. Um, I thought about it, I was texting Jack like, Jack, should I get the bag, what do you think, blah, 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 blah. He didn't reply, he's busy at work, I understand. I also don't have any other friends who are in handbags uh, that I could talk about this thing guilt free. Um, so I just had to like think really quick and be like, what do you actually want? Decided not to get the bag because... I'll insert a picture of the bag. It's actually a bag that I'd put in my notes section and he looked at my um, previous application and he was like, yes, we actually have a Picatin. It's in the gold colour that you are. It's in a tan colour which you are after in the Birkin. I can show you. I was like, Manchester could never. Like, Manchester never offered me anything. The bag that they were offering me, I want it in a Birkin and there's no way I want two bags of the same colour. I don't want that. Um, so although I really wanted the bag, it just wasn't the right bag and I am not playing a game. Like if this was somebody who was just playing a game and had endless money, they would just buy the bag. You know, they would just buy the bag and they would figure it out later. I am not a figure it out later kind of girl, okay? I have my head screwed on. You might not think I do because obviously I'm wanting to spend loads of money on a handbag. Um, but it just wasn't the right bag. It wasn't the right combination. If they had it in a colourful shade, in a white or cream, uh, if they had it in any other colour combination, I would have said yes. But I did not want two bags of the same colour. So I was like, I cannot accept this bag. Um, and a lot of people would just say, yes, I'll take it because it should, it technically helps with your profile and it helps, um, you know, you get bags and stuff like that, but I don't care. I don't care to play the game. And that's my whole strategy with doing this is that I'm patient. I'm patient. I don't care about playing and I don't care about playing the game. If they offer me a bag, great. If they don't, then whatever. I'll just renew the wish list. It's no harm to me, blah, blah, blah. But I actually did get offered a bag. I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my God. And I, it's funny, um, I text Jack, he replied like three hours later. I'd already been at this Strathbury event, I'd had my lunch. And then I got a text from him, he was like, oh, you should have bought the bag. <laughs> yeah. And I didn't expect him to say that. I thought he was going to be like, no, if it's not the right bag, like, don't get a bag just for the sake of it. He was like, you should have bought the bag. He was like, you need to go back in and ask if they've got the bag. I went back in, the bag had obviously gone. So I love his enthusiasm for me. I love his energy for me. I love that he, like, gets it, but doesn't really get it. But he was like, you should have just bought the bag. I was like, it's still a lot of money for something that I don't really want. Anyway, I'm going to Paris in uh, next month, in May. Going to Paris, and we're both going to be trying for a bag. But he doesn't know that we're going to be trying for a bag. But we're both going to apply on their little... Um, on their system um, to try and get a, an appointment and hopefully Scott a bag for me. Um, that's the story. Let me get on to the next thing which I'm going to unbox with you. So after the Strathbury event, I got some lunch. Then I had a facial with Harrods. I've never had a facial. Yeah, it was incredible. Glorious. It was so good. I will be having I will be having more and more facials. So they sent me a bunch of things from Elemis. So Elemis sent me a bunch of things to try at home. And um 
as of current, the only Elemis product which, as of current, the only Elemis product which I use is the um, cleansing balm. I am a huge cleansing balm fan um, and I have a mini Elemis one and I also have the full size version which I think is in the upstairs bathroom. But, uh, so I'm very, very excited to try some of their skincare. I'm sorry guys, I'm talking a lot. I just, I don't come here for like a week and all of, and then I'm like verbal diarrhea. <laughs> First one is the Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pad. It's a, it's a skin smoothing pad. So I'm guessing it's like an exfoliator if it's a skin smoothing pad. I don't want to open it yet because I have um, the Dermalogica exfoliator which I'm going through, which I've been going through that for about a year and it's still not done. But So once I'm done with the Dermalogica, I'm going to start using this one. And then they sent over the Clarifying Serum. Looks like that. It's a skin balance, it's a skin balancing facial serum for blemish prone skin and um, prebiotic. It balances, renews and soothes. That's the packaging there. It's beautiful colour, I love the colour of that. The next product is the Skin Buff, it's a skin cleansing exfoliator. Oh, okay. There you go, that's the packaging. And then finally, they sent me the Jasmine Camellia Body Oil. Um, so it's a nourishing body oil for supple skin, Camellia Sweet Almond Vitamin C nourishes conditions and softens. Oh, okay. So it's a body oil. I've just bought a body oil actually from Boots. So the minute I finish that one, I'm definitely gonna dig into this one. Oh, that smells incredible. I got sent some jewellery from a brand called Estella Bartlett. They sent me this a while back, like honestly, like the 23rd of March, and I don't know why it's taking me this long to unbox it and show you all, but we're gonna we're gonna go into it. So they sent me three products, which I think are gonna be really, these, these jewellery pieces are gonna be beautiful, um, like all year round, but they're quite spring summery, they're quite, you'll see what I mean by that. These are 18 karat gold plated and how pretty are these earrings? I just think they're so stunning and they just remind me of spring. They're really fun. I do like a dangly earring as well because um, I have like a an oval shape. It's like a rounded oval and I just find that I just find that longer earrings are quite flattering on my ear shape. The next thing which I got is this bracelet here. So it's like a coin bracelet and I've actually worn this a couple of times and then I put it back in the box so that I could show you all it properly. Really, really pretty um, bracelet. I'm a huge bracelet fan, like I love a good stack. Um, like I have my Monica Veneta stack which I love. So I really can't wait to add this. Um, and again, you can see the you can see the design on the bracelet, it's quite pretty. I finally got these little pearl earrings as well. How pretty are these? Yeah, they're gorgeous. I know it seems like a lot, but these are all things which I've had for maybe a month and a bit. And then the next goodies are from Key Australia. Um, I'm sure you've all heard of Key Australia. Before I show you the sunglasses, they also sent me like a little case, which is fluffy and just so, so cute. And then this is the sunglasses case here. So I've got these tortoise shell. Can you see that? Oh my God, they're gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And they're a little bit cat eye as well, which I just love that. I just love that. They're not too obnoxious. These are gonna be perfect for my little for my holiday. I think the final package that I can show you, so I have a package which I can't show you, but you'll see the item in a few weeks time when I do a, um, a video. Miracle Skin from Revolution Pro. Interesting. So this is what um, I've received in the mail. So it's from, it's from Revolution Pro. This is the packaging inside. My camera's about to die at any minute. I hope it just, Keeps going for a little bit longer. 
So they've sent me the Miracle Serum. And this makes skin look younger and feel firmer. And then they also sent me the Miracle Cream. Skin feels hydrated and plumper. And then they sent me the Miracle Eye Cream, which helps with dark circles. I do love the packaging, it's really, really glam. A second moisturiser is the Miracle, the Miracle Balm. How generous. So yeah, that is pretty much everything that I had to show you, like PR package wise. Um, yeah, that's all I'm going to show you. That's all I'm going to show you guys today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed, and I will catch you all in my next vlog. Um, right now, my schedule is to post. I aim for every Wednesday. Sometimes it can be Thursday. I have a lot going on right now, and I cannot commit to doing two videos a week. It's just too much right now. Um, it's just too much right now, considering. It's, I can't go into it, but yeah, I'm committing. I'm committing to one midweek video a week. So thank you so much for watching this vlog, and I will see you guys in the next video, which I think is going to be a fashion video because I have been filming that today. But um, it depends whether it gets approval and all of that. But yeah, my next video I think is going to be a fashion one. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you all in my next vlog. Bye.